Hi, I'm Jerome Jennings with SPX Cooling Technologies, and today I'm going to talk about proper bearing lubrication for pillow block style bearings, as well as other bearings you might find in the cooling tower. This is a pillow block style bearing arrangement where typically this unit would be mounted in a vertical position within the cooling tower, where your fan would be mounted to this shaft here, and your fan sheave would be mounted to this portion here, and a belt drive would be turning the shaft to turn your fan. These bearings are open, so they're exposed to the cooling tower environment. So moisture, dirt, other contaminants can get into the bearing, which is why it's important to make sure you're properly lubricating the bearing and pushing out those contaminants on a regular basis. Typically, we recommend lubricating these bearings with grease quarterly. The proper location to lubricate these bearings is through the Zerk fitting that is located on each of the bearings. So it's important to use a grease gun with the proper lithium-based grease to pump the grease into this location. Once you pump the grease in, it will force the old contaminated grease out of the bearing and push that fresh new grease into the cavity where the bearing rides. In addition to pumping grease directly into the grease zerks, there is also sometimes extended grease lines that run to the outside of the cooling tower casing panel and the grease zerk will be located outside the tower. This is an option that's sometimes used for maintenance folks who want to have an easier access point for greasing the bearings. It's important to realize that when you have an external grease line fitting, it may be easier maintenance, but it's critical to check occasionally that the grease lines are still intact and not damaged, such that the grease is adequately getting pushed through the line and into the zerks and thus into the bearing. If those lines that are extended become dislodged or damaged, you may be pumping grease what you think is going into the bearing, but is actually going out into the cooling tower and not effectively getting to your bearings where it's needed. Another type of bearing assembly that is common in cooling towers, particularly the Marley MHF towers and other models, is a cast iron bodied bearing housing. This cast iron bodied bearing housing has some advantages because you have a body that is surrounding your bearings. And for a cooling tower environment, that gives you better protection against moisture, contaminants, dirt, and other particles. On this particular bearing housing, the uppermost bearing is sealed. There's also a secondary bearing sealed as well, but the bottommost bearing located in this region is called the thrust bearing. It's doing the majority of the work as the fan load is transferred down the shaft and into that bearing. That bearing is set up to be greased regularly. Once every three months or quarterly is the preferred time frame to lubricate this bottommost bearing. In conclusion, it is recommended to always follow the user manual guidelines or recommendations for the specific cooling tower and bearing housing or pillow block bearing type that you may have. Again, this has been Proper Lubrication of Bearings with Jerome Jennings. Thanks for watching.